Ugh. Get out. Hello, you guys. So welcome back to my channel. First, I have a question. How does our How does our What can I speak words? How does everybody feel about kombucha? I'm really interested. I love kombucha personally, but I know that some people think it's disgusting. But please let me know what you think of it. So today, I am going to be filming a little vlog and here's a little bit of a backstory because as you guys can tell by the title of the video I'm going to be reading through the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series and the whole reason that I'm even doing this um, I've read the first book I haven't read the second or the third um, but my friend Faith from Faith's Reading Things um, here on booktube and on Instagram um, that is the series that got her into reading and we've been like talking back and forth on Instagram and she was like, I'm going to be doing a reread in March if you want to do it with me. And I was like, all right, fine. So I'm going to be reading the series, Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Here's the thing. I have the first book in the series and I do not. Oh, and I have the second book. I don't have the third book though. So I don't really know how we're going to figure that out yet. Um, I'm pretty sure my cousin owns all three of them. If she doesn't, then I literally have no idea how I'm going to get my hands on the third one. Because I'm not supposed to buy anything, but I mean, if we have to, we will. I'm going to be reading this. My sister's over. It's a Saturday night. It is 6.22. She's probably going to be watching The Walking Dead. She's trying to catch up to where Jonathan and I are so that we can chat about it. But I'm probably going to be reading this while she watches that. While drinking my kombucha, probably having a little snack. Um, and then she... I need to get a hold of this ice cream before she eats the entire pint by herself. I made it really good dent yeah and it's been what six minutes yeah <laughs> so i need to hurry up um but yes that is basically gonna be this vlog i hope you guys enjoy and let's see if this reread is as good as i remember it being the first time and if i like the rest of the series <laughs> So it's it's been a minute um, since I have said anything on this vlog. Literally been like four days. Um, but I'm coming to you to let you know that I have finished A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And it's exactly, not like exactly how I remember it because I didn't remember everything. But I mean in the sense of like how much I enjoy it. Like I'm going to give this one 4.5 stars. I think I really, really loved this. Um, and the ending, like, I really wasn't expecting that, and I didn't remember the ending, so it was really nice. It was kind of like reading it for the first time all over again, so I enjoyed that. I did start annotating this book, and then it got too interesting, and I just didn't have the patience to, like, stop and, like, annotate things, so... I didn't annotate the whole thing, but I did really, really love it, and I'm really excited to pick up the next book. Um, that's actually why I'm turning the camera on right now, because I'm going to be picking up... Good Girl, Bad Blood. It is so tucked away. Good Girl, Bad Blood. I know some of you are probably like, Chanel, that's a hardcover. The first one you have is paperback. I know, okay? This was discounted somewhere. And I was like, okay, I'll get it because it's discounted, you know, cheap. I need to let go of the expectation that all of my books in the series are the same format. Um, but now it bothers me to this day. So yes, we're going to deal with it. Um, I also did find out that my cousin does have this entire series. So she has the last book. So either before or after worship practice today, I'm gonna go get it from her because I need it. So I'm picking up this next one. I am not gonna read the synopsis, obviously, because I don't wanna spoil it for anybody who hasn't read this, um, but I'm really, really excited for this one to see like if I enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the first one, obviously. It's currently 346. Um, I'm supposed to be at the church, I think at like between like six and 630. So I have about two hours to just like sit and read and I'm really excited. I haven't got to do that in a really long time, I feel like. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make myself a snack because I'm feeling a little bit hungry. I'm in some water because I'm also feeling very thirsty. Um, and then we're going to dive into Good Girl, Bad Blood. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so um, it is now Saturday, 9.49. Remember how I said I needed to finish the books by yesterday? 
yeah, that didn't happen. Um, I'm still reading Good Girl Bad Blood. Um, I am on page 306. Um, I apologize for the lack of updates throughout this book. I just feel like it's hard for me to update you guys like throughout the book because if you haven't read them, like I'm trying, I'm trying to make this spoiler free so that anybody can watch this video, but it's also really hard because I can't say much about sequels without like spoiling things. My plan is to finish this book and the next book today, which I definitely think is possible. They're really, really quick reads, which I love. I don't even know how many pages this book has. Let's find out. Okay, 397. So I have like 90 pages left. Um, and as far as like my thoughts on this book, I, I think it's okay. I didn't read the synopsis of this book before going in, so I wasn't really sure where the story was going to go. Like we know from the first book that it's about a girl who basically like is trying to solve this mystery in her small town. Um, and it's really great. Like they do a great job at making it feel like this little mystery that you're solving, um, it's really entertaining, really fast paced, but I feel like it should have stopped with book one because it wasn't like book one ended to where you're like, oh my gosh, like I have to read the next book. Like it didn't end on a cliffhanger or anything like that. I'm not really sure why there's a whole series and maybe there's going to, like this book is going to end in a way where it's like, oh, I see why I've got to read the next book. But so far that's just not been my experience. And this one I feel like, because it's a brand new mystery. And to me, it's just kind of like, like we're just redoing the same idea from book one over again. And so for that, I'm just kind of like, not really my favorite, um, but it is good. It's just that like, I think it's kind of pointless and it should have just stopped at book one. I'm going to finish this this morning and then immediately jump into As Good As Dead so that I can get this done because I have to start another vlog today. So trying to get caught up. Um, but yeah, that's my update for now. I guess I will give you guys my final thought in hopefully a, a short amount of time. Okay, it's 10.37, I finished. Final thoughts, I think I'm gonna give this book 3.5 stars. I did enjoy it, it's just that I really felt like it was pointless to have another book. Like, it was good, like the ending was good. There were, you know, plot twists and all kinds of stuff. It's not that it was bad, it's just that really can't find another word except pointless. I definitely see how the third book could go like it definitely left us a little bit open-ended on something that like i'm not super invested in so i'm interested to see kind of where the third book takes us let's go to his dad um i'm gonna read the synopsis i'm not gonna read it to you because it might spoil something okay so this one definitely sounds interesting i'm i've been waiting for this kind of turn of events to happen so this one i feel like could be really interesting um not that any of the other ones weren't but you guys know what i mean but i do need to finish this one i don't even know how many pages this is this one looks really big so 455 so the biggest one yet i'm probably going to start a load of laundry real quick all that being said let's get going <laughs> Okay, I've put you guys in my cabinet because I don't feel like getting my tripod and I also don't want to be in the same spot on my couch this whole video so I'm still reading as good as dead um, and I'm having a good time I think I'm actually having the most fun with this one out of all of them because this is like the direction I've been waiting for the story to go. But yeah, so I'm reading this. I am on page 229. Um, I just got back from dinner with my cousin. So I am planting, planting, what the freak? Planning to finish the rest of this book tonight. I have 200 pages left. So I'm a little over halfway through the book actually. I do need to finish this because I have to start a new vlog tomorrow. I'm already behind on this other vlog. So let's sit down crank out the last bit of this book and I will give you guys my final thoughts. I didn't. I read the whole series. Um, 
just finished as good as dead i think this one was definitely my favorite of all of them i think i'm gonna give it 4.5 stars i really liked this one it's the same rating as the first book but i just think that i liked like the content and the plot of this one a lot better because it felt like the other ones felt like really easy and predictable and this one didn't feel that way at all um so i'm really satisfied with it that that's it for that book um as far as the whole series goes i did really enjoy the whole series i don't think it's like a favorite series of mine at all like it was good and i would definitely like recommend it to other people but it definitely isn't something that i'm like oh my gosh like this was incredible or anything like that um i just had a good time um and they're quick and easy to get through so if you're looking for something quick and easy and entertaining these are definitely it i apologize if this video was all over the place and i didn't do a very good job at like filming it it was definitely very scattered but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm pretty satisfied with the series and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one